Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as the Blue Boy in this one. Uh, I don't think I've done a Meteor Goliath video for quite a long time, actually. Uh, so here it is. Um, differences between uh, Meteor Goliath and his regular brother is that Meteor Goliath sacrifices base damage for DOT. Uh, he still plays the same, so we'll go with Traversal. Uh, it's a Laz, Sunny, Maggie and Torvald in before I forget that Laz is on this team. Uh, this isn't actually the worst team in the world because they do have Sunny, who is a highly defensive support, so she, she might offset Laz's uh, lack of healing, so we'll have to see. But yeah, the idea with the uh, meaty, as he's referred to, which I cringe at every time I say, is um, ooh, we've got beautiful rain effects as well. Uh, he spreads his damage, basically, between everybody, rather than, you know, single target for the most part as his regular brother normally does. So we shall skidaddle over here. There's some wildlife. That's probably the buff one maybe. Yeah it is. The flame breath also has a longer reach on it as well. Uh, just for the utility, we are going to get armor regen quite early on in this, which is not really going to do anything for us, but, you know, it exists should we slip into a dire situation. The flame breath also lasts a little bit longer as well. <sighs> These little bastards being here isn't ideal. No wildlife being here is a little bit unfortunate, to be honest, as well. Uh, we will take ability cooldowns though, actually, over armor regen. It's going to be a bit more useful. There's usually striders in this location. That's a bit unlucky. We get a singular obsidian grub, which is not going to fill us up a lot. We will eat these bodies in here, because I think... Okay, I have undercut myself, I believe. And I'm alerting birds as well. We need to get the fuck out. I do not want to be caught at stage one. Please and thank you. Uh, there being no wildlife here is not the greatest. That's something. Tag them both in that. Thought I heard something. Hunger hallucinations, because I thought I had some wildlife there, I wanted to eat it. Oh, there's one. Nice. It's not quite going to get us to stage 2, but it's going to push us pretty close. We just need to eat a singular strider, that's a mammoth bird, but it'll do. There we go. Right, we'll go and grab our stage 2 here. Quite a slow uh, beginning to this one, honestly. We'll just do it here. I think I've got the distance for this. So here we are, going up to stage two. This is where it becomes a level playing field now. Uh, we'll do that. Lost me away a little bit there, because I haven't played Meaty for quite a while. Meaty Goliath. This is a bad habit I picked up from the community. Uh, movement speed is not going to be the best thing here, actually. Uh, Goliath is all, already just the most mobile monster in the game, so when we've got ability cooldowns it's going to be uh, a bit of a hard sell movement speed. We'll get armoured up here and we'll go in for our first engage. I'm going to off the top ropes Maggie. Is. And now we tag everybody in the area that we can with the flame breath. Schizophrenic roleplay is uh, what you do as Meet Eagle Eye because you just aim at everybody in the vicinity. Do you get that, man? Misplaced himself there. Right, 
Meteor's Rock is also a very powerful tool. Uh, it does lean more into sniping, even more so than regular Goliath's Rock does. Uh, and I always max rock on Meteor Goliath, that was unlucky. We will commit to this, because he's actually very isolated at the moment. There we go. Always good to get a, a strike on the assault when you can. We did actually tag her there, which is good. Let's bounce her into there. We'll get the rock for the finish. There it is. Uh, we'll get out now, though, because I've got no armor. There's a lot of people who can sneak revives in as well, so I don't want to risk this. Put behind this flimsy ass tree. So in this particular instance, we won't go straight to stage uh, three. We'll uh, get some armor going and then we'll go in for another engage here. I forgot Laz existed. There it is. Fucking excellent. Right. So now we need to find Laz. Uh, I told you it can happen. Um, so what's happened here is everything I just did was utterly fucking pointless because Laz has reversed it all with his uh, power. You've also got the defense buff which is not ideal. Where's Laz? There he is. This is the man we should have been going for. Get him while he's stunned. I expected him to move away there. There he is. Got him. Ooh, that's beautiful for Meteor. We're losing a lot of health here. It's not fucking ideal. There's Laz as well. We did hit him there. That was the... thing. We'll corner him. Confirm it. Right, nice, get out. Okay, we took a lot of fucking damage there. That was not ideal. But we do get the stage up, luckily. The poor lad is very fucking injured now. Uh, we'll go over here to get the evolve. It will do. Right, so, as we go to stage 3, I will max rock, because rock is a very good tool. Um, it takes, like, it's, I think it's like half of a full health on this health bar, if you hit them with it. Which is more than uh, default Goliath's rock. So he has areas that he is better in, than his uh, lesser evolved brother. There are areas where he isn't as good, which is pro obviously raw damage output. Uh, there's a bit of a delay on his actual um, ability to do damage, obviously, because it's DOT based. But in doing so, he is actually a good counter to high sustain teams with healing. Because a lot of the DOT damage will actually burn through a lot of the healing. That rock is massive and it travels very quickly, which I scuffed the trajectory of as a result. synergy there between Maggie and Torvald because he held me in place. That's going to be death though. Nice. Miracle Man is down. Fired that over him rather than uh, into them. Attack everybody else so we can halt healing. Okay. His basic attacks also apply DOT because it, obviously his arms are on fire. So, you know, you get it by that, you're going to burn as well. Have a shot that. There we go. We will get out just to be safe here because Torvald's still up and he's very high damage. We 
whilst they recuperate, we will take this opportunity just to get ourselves back in fighting condition. Laz is about to be back, I believe, or if he's not back already. Push them all off there. I might use this colonist actually to. Oh shit, I grabbed him. Um, to bait Laz when he comes in. Okay. I don't know if he was there then. I thought I saw a glimpse of something. DOT, that's going to be the dome wiped out. She dipped behind the thing. It was on target, that I think, actually, based on what I saw. I could see her footsteps by smelling them. Yeah, she's down. I see you, you little shit. Running towards uh, Sunny. That's going to be a DOT death. No, it's not, because he's healed it. Maggie by surprise there. I love how fucking fluid this boy is in his movements. Why I maimed him. He feels so good. We do dodge some of those mortars. We need to be very fucking careful. In fact, I'm getting out actually. That's a shield and. 10 seconds left on his uh, teammates respawning, which is not a good situation. We need to go and grab some armor. One of the benefits of uh, Meteor Goliath is he actually has the largest armor pool in the game out of all the monsters. Yeah, you shit yourselves now, don't you? Chopper is dead. Obviously, that doesn't really mean anything because Laz is on the team and also back presently. Jesus Christ, where is my wildlife? That's some. Birds ignore us is not going to do a single fucking thing at this stage of the game, but it's food, so we're not replacing anything important. I guess only obsidian grubs live here now then. There was a mammoth bird there then, wasn't there? That's we'll go for that because I still need to get some more. I would like to, just because of our lower ammo, would like to go in fully armoured. As I say, Torvald is very uh, high damage. Be able to eat that colonist actually. Nope, never mind, he's decayed. Feed the fucking missile in there, we've got some damage there. Quite too late, lad. Nice. Try to jump into me to dodge that, it's not gonna work. Beautiful. She's cloaked. Would like to stop that before she runs off by the second wave of the team. There she goes. <laughs> uh, killer, please. I need to assess the situation. It's 30 seconds. Shit, the thought was there. Go for Daisy. There you go. The saucer damage out. We eat these guys and then we might be able to get a small window. Yeah, that been our shit. Nah, that's six seconds. We need to go for another. Another uh, full recharge here. It's about eating away at the team. I'm in very low health at the moment. Need to be very cautious. Fuck is that noise? Well, that's me responding to something in the real world. I don't fucking know what that noise is. 
Although the fucking neighbours as always. Uh, right, everybody should be back. We might be able to get a bit of a damage lead on Torvald. No, we won't. We get a really good spread there, actually, because they all dived into me. Excellent. Get Sunny immediately. Nice. He was there then, money. Where, where's he gone? I need to stop him getting them revives. There we go. As I say, you can revive dead hunters. That's beautiful. Using for armor. I was going to say, then mortars are going to land. That's unfortunate. I'm going to use, you know, less of my abilities. There you go. Beautiful. Fifteen minutes on the dot. It's a win for the blue boy. There it is. Hope you've enjoyed, as always, and I will hopefully see you for more Evolve in the future as we approach 2024, because you fucking know it, that the title will be changing soon. <laughs> um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.